Hi guys, so today's uh, video is going to be really short. I'm really here just to uh, announce the availability of the H710 um, in IT mode running the LSI SAS 2308 firmware. So if you've been watching my channel, you know about uh, 10 days ago, I had announced that I finally, finally got the LSI uh, IT mode firmware to run on these cards. And in that video I had mentioned that, you know, I the flashing process still wasn't stable and that was, I can't tell you how, how true that was because um, as excited as I was to have finally flashed one uh, successfully with the LSI IT mode firmware that Friday when I launched that video, um, for several days after that I had several other failures and bricked cards and all sorts of other um, firmware flashing drama if you want to call it that. So it's it's been a it's been a struggle, and so it's been ten days now, and I finally finally got the process uh, stabilized so that I can consistently uh, produce these. And I've already listed them on my eBay store for sale. I'll leave a link in the description, so if you're interested, you can go check it out. Um, but anyway, one thing I just want to share with you guys is that I've found. From my experimentation, um, I found that some of these cards um, are easier to flash than others, even though they're the same H710 models. So this all kind of started, if you recall, um, several months ago. I had a video where I showed how I could convert a uh, onboard 2208 RAID controller on a Super Micro motherboard into an IT mode uh, controller by uh, having it flashed with the 2308 firmware. And so when I found out that these H710s also had the 2208 um, chipset, I figured I could probably run the 2308 IT mode firmware. And you know, if you're on my channel, we all love IT mode. We all love HBAs because we love the software technologies for storage, right? So anyway, I was pretty sure I could do it uh, considering uh, what I was able to figure out for the H310 mini modules. And one of my customers who had bought one of the H310 minis from me uh, said, hey, you know, he's got a uh, H710 that he has nothing, you know, uh, he can't really use. And he offered it to me um, to experiment with. And so his name is Dan. And thank you very much, Dan. Uh, really appreciate you, um, you know, giving me one of these cards to play with. And so that was the card I started on. And that, you know, there were challenges along the way. So some of the things I'll just kind of mention and share with you guys is that the SBR format on these cards are totally different. So, um, you know, there's no, the, the tool that I've shown you guys in the past called SBR tools is a Python script that parses the text file and generates a, a binary uh, SBR. That's not gonna help you here. So I basically had to go in with a hex editor and, and, and uh, figure out what the SBR had to be for, for these things. Not only that, there's also another complication I'll share with you in a moment here. But um, so these cards um, have a different SBR format, so that's one challenge. Second challenge is that because it is natively running originally as a uh, hardware RAID controller, you really have to like change the personality of the card. So unlike the other cards, which you know can run the IR firmware, that's kind of like pseudo RAID cards. Um, this is drastically different. And because this is in that Dell slot, uh, you can't just erase it and hope that the next launch of the firmware will automatically fix the SBR because with the wrong SBR contents, this will prevent your system from booting, right? And you can't really stick this in a normal PCI slot. So there's just a lot of challenges in getting this working. Uh, like I said, you know, in the video from about 10 days ago, you know, it was the first time after about five weeks or so that I finally successfully got one working. And then since then, I've had lots of challenges also getting um, the flashing process to consistently work. I've basically, you know, 10 out of, out of 10 tries, I might get like one or two cards that successfully flashed. And so I finally figured out a way to make that um, stable with a caveat, which I'll get to. But anyway, um, so I'll just as a hint for you guys who want to try this on your own, um, one thing to note is that because you're really trying to change the personality of, of this card, you need to have it uh, be recognized as a 2308. So when you change the SBR, it doesn't automatically, you know, your operating system doesn't automatically know. 
so you have to rescan the PCI bus. But when you rescan the PCI bus, you might trigger the RAID firmware from running, which will then detect that the SPR is incorrect and maybe try to correct it, right? So the, the firmware, a lot of the LSI firmwares, when they first start up, um, they do seem to make some attempts of correcting the SPRs if the SPR isn't exactly what they're expecting. So, you know, that's, that's a challenge because you, don't, you just put in the SPR that you want and you don't want the firmware to mess with it. So the hint there, by the way, if you guys are trying this, is you have to put the IOC or the, the processor in a fault mode. So basically I had to trick this thing into going into fault mode and then rescan the bus so that it picks up the SPR without getting the firmware to run. So just a, a hint out there for you guys who are going to try this on your own. Um, that's the one way that I've found that I can get this to recognize the proper uh, PCI IDs without actually getting the RAID firmware to run. And then once I had it in that state, I can uh, host boot the IT mode firmware. And then from there, it's smooth sailing. Okay, So once you can get past that, uh, it's pretty smooth sailing. Now, with that said, one caveat is that this card, which is the same that Dan uh, sent me, uh, I've already sent Dan back his card. Uh, as I, I promised him, if I if I could accomplish this, I would uh, send it back to him as a, as a gift for uh, contributing to uh, to help me with this. Um, this has Dell part number five CT six D, and that's really important. If you guys are out there trying to do this on your own, get this card, or at least for me, this is the only card that I've been able to figure out how to cross flash to IT mode with the 2308 firmware. Okay, so there's a sticker back here that says 5CT6D. And those are the only cards that I've been able to successfully flash to IT mode. Now, there's another card here, which is also an H710, and it pretty much looks pretty identical. Um, this is the battery that usually goes on top of it. I've taken it off because in IT mode, you don't really need the battery anymore. This is also an H710. It's Pretty identical. I think this has an earlier manufacturer date. I'm not really certain about that. Um, but this has a Dell part number that is uh, MCR5X. These cards, as far as for cross flashing to uh, IT mode, uh, behave completely differently. I, I can't tell you how, like, there's multiple steps along the way that this just doesn't behave the same as this. Um, for one, the SBR on this is also different from this. Okay, so you, whatever SBR you're using on this one, probably, at least for me, I have, haven't been able to get it to work on this card. And then uh, beyond that, um, you know, the, the tricks that I, I employed to get this to kind of change its personality uh, do not work on this card. So I don't know what it is that makes this card so different from this one because uh, from a hardware perspective, they're both 2208 chipsets. Um, they're both labeled as H710s uh, from Dell. And, you know, as an H710, they both work perfectly fine in the Dell servers. So anyway, I just wanted to share some of that information with you guys. If you guys are up for the challenge, you know, um, you know, you can try the MCR5X card. I have had no success with this one. But um, I now have a stable process to flash the uh, 5CT6D, and I can pretty much consistently produce these um, as IT mode cards. And so now these are what I sell on my eBay store. I've got uh, a handful of them there uh, listed right now. So if you're interested, go check it out. Um, you can support my channel by buying a few of them if you need them. But anyway, I uh, just want to announce that the, the IT mode 2308 um, H710s are now available. So uh, these are great, by the way, if you have 12th gen server and you have say like a two and a half inch backplane where you're using some SSDs, um, this does uh, connect at PCI 3.0 speeds with eight lanes. So that gives you about 7.8 uh, gigabytes per second on the PCI bus versus the four gigabytes per second with the H310 version of this. Uh, so anyway, and also the, the processor is a little bit faster so it should be able to handle some higher IOPS if you're using SSDs. So, and then if you just generally want something a little, you know, a higher performing card um, in your box, just in case someday you plan to use SSDs, you know, um, you can also pick one of these up instead of the H310. Um, but if you've seen my benchmark videos, by the way, uh, hard drives with this versus hard drives with the uh, SAS 2008 really don't make much of a difference. So, you know, if you're just trying to spend, uh, you know, what you need without being excessive. Um, you know, I, I would really reserve these for SSD use. 
uh, versus uh, using them with hard drives. But hey, it's up to you, whatever choice you want, right? So anyway, I uh, wanted to share that with you guys. Wanted to announce that these are now available for sale. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, you guys are excited as, as I am about um, having these now available on the market. So anyway, uh, hit the like button for me, if you will, and uh, keep subscribed um, or subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, to hear any new announcements and new products that I might uh, be putting up on my store, okay? All right, well, hey, thanks a lot and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.